Understanding Automobile Piston In an internal combustion engine, a piston is one of the greatest components that help the working of the combustion cycle. The engine part is enclosed in a cylinder block, which uses a piston ring to give no space for gas escape. The pistons help transform heat energy into mechanical work and vice versa. It moves upward and downward inside the cylinder to expand and contract the air-fuel mixture. For this reason, a piston is inevitable in an internal combustion engine. What is a piston? A piston is a mechanical device that moves upward to compress gas and downward due to a cylinder explosion to transform heat energy into mechanical work. A piston follows a cyclical process for the continuation of the heat converting process. The process is achieved in three ways. Providing heat to the gas inside the cylinder for useful work. Removing heat from the cylinder to decrease the pressure so that the gas can easily be compressed. Applying work to the piston when it's in its initial state, ready to perform the cycle again. Functions of a piston in internal combustion engines. Pistons play a vital role in an automobile engine, including the spark ignition gasoline engine and compression ignition diesel engine. These two internal combustion engine processes are different, but they utilize pistons for their processes. The major function of a piston is to transfer the force output of a small gas explosion in the cylinder to a crankshaft. This provides rotational momentum to a flywheel. It moves forward so that gases can be compressed and an explosion can occur for the backward movement. The piston contains a pin called a piston pin, which allows the gas in the chamber to escape. A connecting rod attached to the piston's bottom allows the mechanical work to be transferred. Pistons help to carry the air-fuel mixture within the period of the combustion cycle. They aid the control of oil flow in the cylinder walls using the oil control ring. How does a piston work? When inquiring about how a piston works, you will gain insight into the overall working principle of the internal combustion engine. This is because the piston does the major work during the four-stroke cycle. Just as earlier mentioned, an internal combustion engine is of two types and they work in two different manners. One of them works with a spark plug, hence it's named a spark ignition engine, and the other a compression ignition engine. Their work is quite different. Well, the working of this engine has been covered in another video. Piston material. Cast iron is the earliest material used for making pistons. However, modern engines benefit from lighter materials for engine balancing. Good pistons must be able to resist the engine's combustion temperatures. Alloys such as Y alloys and aluminum are specifically used to obtain such properties. Pistons are made from aluminum alloys with a casting process. Some pistons used in racing vehicles require better strength and fatigue life, which is why they are forged. Billet pistons are also used in racing engines because they do not rely on the size and architecture of available forgings, making the design change at dying minutes. Although it's not commonly visible to the naked eye. Are you enjoying the video so far? Great! You won't want to miss out on our future content, so subscribe now to stay updated. Let's keep it going. Major parts of pistons and their functions. Piston skirt. A piston skirt is a cylindrical material attached to the round portion of a piston. It is usually made from cast iron to resist wear and its self-lubricating properties. There are grooves on the skirt that allow the piston rings to perfectly sit. The function of the piston skirt is to move up and down the cylinder. Piston rings. Piston rings are the pieces of split rings that are mounted on a recess area of the piston. There are usually three piston rings in an engine. Sometimes the ring can be one, depending on the engine type. Piston pin. The piston pin is a piston part that is also known as a wrist pin or gudgeon pin. The function of the piston pin is to offer bearing support so the piston can function properly. Piston head. This part of a piston is also known as a crown or dome, which is the top surface. It's the part that contacts the combustion gases, making it experience an extremely high temperature. The function of the piston is to receive pressures, temperatures and other stresses of the expanding gas. Types of pistons. Dish pistons. A dish piston is shaped like a plate with slightly curling up outer edges. It is easy and simple as well as giving fewer issues to engineers. It's often used in boosted applications that do not require a high lift camshaft or high compression rate. Flat top piston. The flat top type of piston has a flat top. It has the smallest amount of surface space, giving the chance of creating the most force. And it's also, it's perfect for creating efficient combustion. The flat top pistons create a high explosion in the chamber, but compression might be too much for smaller combustion chambers. Dome pistons. The dome pistons feature a raised portion, dome, on the piston crown, which protrudes into the combustion chamber. This design increases the compression ratio of the engine. 
Higher compression ratios can improve engine efficiency and power output by enhancing combustion characteristics. However, it's crucial to match the compression ratio with the engine's design and fuel requirements to prevent issues like detonation. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.